What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums. Long time, no video. Been on vacation with the family, enjoying some time with my family and my kids. Uh, we recently just went down south uh, to South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, and had a great time. The drive was not so awesome. Four kids in a Suburban going 18 hours was not the best time in the world, but we made memories. It's all about making memories, folks. Remember that. Enjoy every bit of the time you have with your family because kids grow up fast and grandparents are gone before you know it and you don't want to miss any times. So, that being said, how you been folks? I'm uh, glad to be back shooting a video. In tonight's video, I want to talk about decorating your saltwater aquarium with artificial corals. Uh, a lot of reefists, a lot of purists don't, would never have a reef tank, well, a reef tank or a saltwater aquarium with fake corals. But I'm here to tell you that it is okay to do and it's awesome to do. I'm thinking about doing it myself with my next project. I have a 135 gallon tank coming in with a 52 gallon sump sponsored by SC Aquariums. And I just might stock the entire thing with corals, fake corals from Living Color. This company produces all sorts of artificial decor and I just wanted to show you how awesome it looks and unopen a few packages decorate this nice rock and just see you know what you can do with artificial corals um, a lot of people are afraid to get into salt the salt water part of the aquarium hobby because of the expense now the aquarium hobby alone is expensive period but people are just afraid to make the jump to salt water because of all the ex expensive equipment you need what they want really nice beautiful tanks with these crazy corals that cost a lot of money then it costs a lot of money to keep them alive and then you spend lots of money and they die or you have a tank swing and all that money and time you spent having these corals decorate your beautiful tank um, could all of a sudden crash so a great opportunity for a beginner or just someone that wants a really really low-tech beautiful saltwater aquarium can use artificial corals now all these corals are sponsored by living color I'll post a link down below you guys got to go check them out they have beautiful giant giant tanks they've set up in hotels and casinos in the works you know just go check them out and uh, you'd be surprised at how beautiful some of these tanks are gonna look so I haven't set anything up. We're literally going to dive into these bags together and I am going to decorate this uh, tiny little live rock. It comes with all these little holes in it and let's get right into it. Look at all these awesome corals that they've sent. Um, I love this one. This looks like a SPS. Get these bell scissors. And so the coral comes like this. You can order any type of corals you want, any type of color you want. Um, it comes with this little screw, really, plastic screw, aquarium safe. And you just put it in. And let's see. This looks like maybe a background coral here. And it twists right into the thing. The live rock see how that looks what else we got what would look cool up front let's go with this one here doing this together folks maybe if I knew how to do live streams I would be able to do that for you but I do not these things just screw right in and then they stick out so like if you have this right here Maybe you don't want that right there. We're gonna we're gonna get this one decorated like really cool. Maybe this goes here, and I'll put this back here like a plating coral. And then we can take this little guy right here. So the best part about doing this is, in my opinion, since I'm a real big freshwater guy, and I'm a planted tank guy, and I love aquascaping and I love aquascaping my reefs, um, I love getting in there, is the fact that like, you don't have to glue down a coral and then, like I don't want that there, now I want this right here. 
you don't have to glue down a coral and then not like it but the coral is doing well you know it has the right flow it has the right light and the coral is thriving but you just can't stand to look at it where it is you're like i just don't like where that is but the coral is doing great how can i take it out of its spot um i like this one right here so the best thing about this is you get these big rocks and you can get all types of corals ordered from this place and you can decorate it and aquascape it exactly how you want it and that is really like the beauty of this right here like I kind of I'm kind of looking around do I want that right there or do I want this right here right that looks cool Put this one, yep. Maybe this one can go right here. And so now all you're doing is you're picking and choosing. You know, maybe you get variety packs and you're gonna aquascape your entire saltwater aquarium to look like it's been an established reef tank for like a super long time. putting this one in the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey Mike. Don't forget that. Now I want this one to go right here. And then we got one more. Now these are like, ooh, this is, this is a giant one. Maybe we replace this. In the back. And we'll put this one up front. That looks cool. It was big like Monty. And, I mean, that's the beauty of this. Oh, yeah. That actually looks pretty sweet. Let's see what it looks like if I do it this way. With this over here. And this right here. I like that much better. So... I got plenty more to go over here. Well, in just a few minutes, you know, you could even drill these things in yourself with the drill and put these wherever you wanted. Like I could put a drill bit right here, zoom, and have this be like this. So that's the beauty. I really like that. That's uh, actually really cool. Even rotate this over a bit. Now, if you put this in the tank right here, after a few, you get some coralline algae growing on this stuff, on the rocks, and think about it. That would look absolutely gorgeous with a couple of clowns and some nice flow. I'm actually really excited about that. So, uh, Living Color, folks. They are sellers of artificial corals, and there is nothing wrong with decorating your saltwater aquarium with artificial corals. I have seen some gorgeous, gorgeous tanks on TV, on Discovery Channel, on YouTube of artificial corals. And the maintenance is very, very easy. You can blow these things off with a syringe, with a power head. You can remove them and clean them off, change them up. You know, you can order new ones, swap them out. So I'm here to tell you folks, there's absolutely nothing wrong with decorating your saltwater reef aquarium, your saltwater aquarium with artificial corals. And I think we did a pretty good job for an on the fly aquascape with these really cool artificial corals. Um, getting really excited for a few new series I have coming up. One is the tank sponsored by SC Aquariums. Um, I might get to call Living Color. Maybe they'll want to sponsor a lot of artificial corals. Who knows? But in the meantime, if you're getting ready to start up a saltwater tank and you're a little leery because of the expense or having to buy and or take care of corals, this is an unbelievable uh, alternative. And... I wouldn't be surprised if you start seeing more people have beautiful, beautiful reef tanks with these nice artificial corals. So I will post a link down below 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to My Aquarium Box. And don't forget to go check out our e-commerce store at shop.myaquariumbox.com. We're about to launch 40 fish foods, folks. That's 40 different kinds of fish foods that Greg has been tireless, tirelessly packing up and labeling and designing labels and checking ingredients and testing everything. So I can't wait for that to come out. But uh, go check out shop.myaquariumbox.com. Go check out Living Color. And don't forget to subscribe to My Aquarium Box. I'm out.